YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Jay Stu back in the building. And for today, we're just going to be talking about the truth about being a collegiate D3 student athlete. Man, um, being here on this college campus, I will say that it's been a turn of events for this first semester as far as just like learning the basics and having to be back at that beginner stage. Like coming from high school, being that man, being that guy that everybody like depended on, needed in a sense, like it was just different. Like, okay, like, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that. All right, we need you to say, come on, you need, you need to run it back. You know, you play multiple positions, but it's like in college, it's like you have a chance to actually sit back and watch everything unfold as a freshman, you know? Like for me, like my goal was to come in, start, do what I can, win some titles, you know what I mean? Like as a, as a, as a freshman, that was my mindset, but God just had different plans for me, you know, and that's all it is. You just got to trust the process, trust God's plan, and just go on from there, you know, and I feel like that's harder for some athletes because it's like my coach told me, in this day and age that we live in now, it's like with technology and everything that's going on, we always want everything right now, but everything is a process. Like, like I said before, being a freshman, back at a beginner back at a beginner stage you have to be willing to like go back to that, that that learning stage that ground level ground zero you know and uh i feel like as a student it's kind of it's not hard but it's not easy as well it's like they have to go hand in hand so it's just like you're reading your playbook you're looking over everything that's how you study, you know, boom, you do your classes, then you do football. That's how that's how it works, student athlete. And without the academics piece, then, you know, you just out of luck with that from, from there on. But I just feel like as a student athlete, it's all just about time management, networking, and just learning the foundation, the, the culture of the school before you, I guess, tie yourself into something that you want to be great in, that you want to be a part of for the future, you know. And I feel like another thing is also speak to your upperclassmen, your peers as much as possible. Because I feel like with that, like for me, like I felt like I told you, I told you guys, I felt like for me, like I was always the guy that was like, no, I got it. I don't need any help. And like I was, I would just be perfectly fine. But in college, it just doesn't work that way. In my last video, like I said before, you need to ask for help. If you need help, ask for help. Because it's like... I give it about 50, 25% of the students here are, you know, smarter than me. And it's just like all about what you can do to the best of your ability, going to the professors, going to other office hours, going to extra tutoring, whatever you need to get yourself better, you know. Like, that's just all a part of the process, like I said before. And uh, I feel like with being an athlete, switching back over, being an athlete, it's just like all about, again, networking, talking to your upperclassmen, and just figuring out the ins and, ins and outs of what you can do better to evolve to a bigger state. Whereas, like, once you hit sophomore, junior year, you already know what to do. You already know the basics, and you're hitting the ground running, you know. So, that's just pretty much it. I hope this video is not short. Let's see. I hope this video is not short as I... As, uh, Hope this, I hope this video is not short at all. But that's all I have for you guys. I will come back and hopefully once I get back home, meet other athletes that are back from college, possibly get, possibly get enough interviews. That would be great. Um, comment down below what you guys like to see on my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your boy. Stay tuned for more content. J. Stu Crew, we out. YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Jay Stu back in the building. And for today, we are going to be talking about why I did not record this season and why I didn't play. Like I was saying before, the reason why I didn't play my freshman year was because of an injury that I carried over from high school. Um, I'm pretty sure that some of you guys may know. If you've been here from the beginning, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you don't, watch the previous videos.
But, uh, yeah, so I just feel like, like I said before in my previous video, all a part of God's plan. Like, I had goals to come in, start as a true freshman, and God had other plans. He told me to actually sit down, take a seat, watch what's going on, let everything unfold, know the culture, know what you're about to get yourself into for the next three to four years, you know. And for a second, you know, I had a little mind battle with him. Yeah, all right, you don't want to listen? Don't worry about it. Woo! Go ahead and sit down right quick. And I ended up sitting out for the whole season. So, yeah, I just feel like it's all a part of God's plan. Whatever God has for you, I'm not, see, now I'm going to my motivational stage now. I feel like whatever God has for you, he will, he will place it for you. If you really want it, he's going to challenge you, you know. And if you really want it, if you prove it, he's going to give it to you. It's not going to be easy, but he's going to give it to you for sure, you know. Um, yeah, I just feel like, like I said before in my previous video, freshman year is truly a beginner stage. Like, you're watching everything unfold. Now, granted, it is some it is some freshmen out here on the, on the collegiate level that's doing their thing, you know, that's that's balling out true freshmen. And, hey, kudos to them, because y'all doing y'all thing for sure. I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching, you know. Um, yeah, like. People just have their time. That's all it is. It's all about timing. Uh, mm, why I didn't record this season. So, the reason why I did not drop as many videos as I had in store. You guys can see in the corner from right here. It's like a couple of clips when I first came to, to, uh, to college. They're holding me back. They said I couldn't record as much videos. When I say they, the mission board, the people who's in charge of... The athletics department, I cannot record like the gear and apparel, just little things I cannot do that restricts me from uploading more content on a daily. And not even that though, but also like I just feel like being in college is totally different from high school. Like, granted, I could have I could have dropped more videos in high school, but we're not gonna reflect on the past. It's just that I have a busy schedule, you know. College, college, busy schedule, finals, uh, homework, just a lot, a lot, to, a, lot to, a lot to do, you know, and my mental state also needs to be right before I come to you guys having more content ideas and bringing this positive and motivational energy to you, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but hopefully over this, I almost said Thanksgiving break, over this Christmas break, I can drop daily content for you guys. And hopefully you guys are loving it, you feel me? But without further ado, you know, we're going to close out from here. That's all I have for you guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're new, check out my channel. Like, comment, share to your boy. And I think that's all I have right about now. Stay for more content. Yeah, man. So without further ado, Jay Stu Crew, yo. Yeah.